The following is brought to you by the International Food Information Council Foundation, which is dedicated to communicating science-based information on health, nutrition, and food safety for the public good. I'm trying to lose weight, and I'm confused, because some diet plans recommend low-calorie sweeteners, and others say not to use them. What's the scoop? Well, you're not alone in being confused about all of the conflicting advice. But the bottom line is that low calorie sweeteners can be a helpful part of a healthy eating plan if you use them wisely. The key to losing weight is energy balance, burning more calories than you take in. That means getting physical activity just about every day and watching how many calories you consume. Foods and beverages containing low cal sweeteners can help with the calorie part of the equation if you eat them in place of higher calorie foods. Low calorie sweeteners are safe and FDA approved. They're also much sweeter than sugar, so a small amount can go a long way. For example, a teaspoon of table sugar contains 16 calories. Now compare that to one teaspoon of this low calorie sweetener, which has zero calories. You can see how if you use it in a typical blueberry muffin recipe, you can save over 500 calories in a batch of 12 muffins. That's about 40 calories per muffin. In addition to tabletop versions that can be added to foods and drinks or used for cooking, low-calorie sweeteners are in a variety of foods you can buy. Everything from cereals and beverages to frozen desserts and chewing gum. Most have considerably fewer calories than the versions made with sugar or other caloric sweeteners such as honey or agave. With all of these tasty options, you're less likely to feel deprived, and if you don't feel deprived, you might find it easier to stick with your healthful diet. Still, remember that low-calorie sweeteners are not a magic bullet for weight management. Unfortunately, there's no such thing when it comes to weight loss. You still need to pay attention to what and how much you're eating, as well as exercising. Giving you the scoop, I'm registered dietitian Carolyn O'Neill. This has been brought to you by the International Food Information Council Foundation. For more information on low-calorie sweeteners, visit www.foodinsight.org/sweeteners.aspx.